Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the steps to opening up um, your KVM console and using your KVM console to power up the server and start the uh, process of installing ESXi server. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already logged into my desktop to, your, to my management station uh, using remote desktop protocol. And this is what you see right now. This is my desktop and you guys should see something similar when you log in. Of course it might be different, but um, what we're looking for is we're looking for this icon and because you have two different hosts that are being assigned to your student account you should see two icons um, each icon represents one of your servers so ESX80 KVM represents the first ESXi server that I have and ESX90 KVM represents the second server so by clicking on any of these two icons I can log in into the KVM controller and I can power up and, and, and power down my ESX host. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with ESX80 and then I'm gonna do the same with ESX90. So just double click on ESX80 KVM. In your case, it's not gonna be ESX80, of course, it's gonna be something different. So depending on the student ID that has been assigned to you, you should um, use your student ID. All right, so um, we're going to be asked to log in, and in this case, use your Active Directory domain account. And so your Active Directory uh, domain account is ESX and then your student ID. In my case, this is 80, followed by admin. So you might be ESX um, 100, 150, 200. Then it's going to be ESX 200 admin. And then I'm going to type add, and then lab, which is the domain name, dot viadmin.com. And then I'm gonna type in my password. There you go. And I'm gonna click connect. So what's important to notice is that you should always use your username at the domain. In this case, the domain is lab.viadmin.com. Uh, make sure you use the, or, uh, your username in this particular format, otherwise you're not gonna be able to uh, authenticate yourself and log in. All right, so this is the uh, console that I'm gonna use to um, manage my USXI host. And the first thing that I see is, is the server is the server's actually powered down. So, and I know that it's powered down because if I click with my mouse inside the black box here, and I hit enter, nothing's happening. So uh, if the server has been powered up, then you know, you're gonna see the uh, direct console user interface of that server. Up here also I have this little uh, green triangle that says uh, power on. And so this also is another indicator that shows me that the server is powered off and allows me to power on the, uh, the server. On the uh, top left uh, hand, corner uh, where it says VMRC, I can click on this drop down menu. I can go power. Obviously I can power on, I can shut down the host, I can suspend it or restart. And those are basically the uh, main menus that you're going to use and also the uh, removable device. If you're going to, if you decide that you're going to be using an ISO image, you can basically attach an ISO image to the console and then you can boot off of that ISO image. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is, is we're going to install ESXi server using Pixie server, um, Pixie server that runs on our network. And so for that reason, I'm just going to power up the host and it says powering on. And the moment you see this part here, this the uh, BIOS screen uh, and it counts 0506 and, all, and so on, you can basically hit escape. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit escape and that brings the boot, the boot menu. So from the boot menu, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go and select my first network card in the list. You know, the network card might be called different uh, in your case. It doesn't matter. The whole the concept is that you select the first one because the first two network cards that are in the list that are the ones that are um, talking to our iSCSI network or SIM network in general. And we have the Pixie server running on the... Uh, SAN network. For that reason, uh, I'm going to select the first network card and I'm going to hit enter. And what's going to go out, it's, what it's going to do is it's going to go out and it's going to try booting up off of the Pixie server. It obviously did boot up off of the Pixie server because what we see right now is this is the 
uh, this is the menu of the um, uh, virtual um, appliance that we use for deploying ESXi server across the board. And um, using the arrow keys, I can just scroll down and look at uh, what are the possible or what are, what are the available versions of ESXi server that I can install. And I can choose the one that I'd like to install. For example, I can um, I can install ESXi 5.5. I'd like to, if I'd like to. Automatic install is basically um, allows you to start the installation and 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 part of the installation there is going to be a, there is a script that's going to go and automatically configure your server. So then you don't have to do this your uh, on your own. But most likely, because you know we're we're trying to learn and understand the technology, you're not most likely you're not going to use the automatic uh, mode. Um, of course, you know most of you guys are going to um, go and do the manual install. So if you'd like to install ESXi Server 5.5, you just go and select ESXi 5.5 uh, uh, manual, and that would install uh, version 5.5. If I scroll down. I can see other versions. Um, for example, I can install ESXi uh, 6.0. And uh, not just that, I can also install ESXi 6.5. So depending on which version uh, you want to start with, you know, you can install 5.5, you can install 6.0, or you can install 6.5. You know, 6.5 being the latest version, um, it's not much different than the previous versions. So um, from you know, learning perspective, it's probably better if you do all of them, you know, you go and install 5.5 and then you, you look at it, you know, kind of go through the settings and configure it. And then you can go and do 6.0 uh, 6 um, and then you can go do 6.5 if you'd like to, right? Um, if you're not interested in the previous versions, you can just go straight to 6.5. There isn't, you know, the difference between the versions is actually, I don't, I don't, I can't think of a difference really, uh, from my perspective, I, I think they're similar in terms of the user interface, in terms of the administrative interface that you're going to see, because all of them, they have a direct console user interface there. And basically once you, once you have them installed, uh, you would go and configure the IP address, the DNS settings, and, uh, you're going to assign one of the network cards for, uh, management. And you're going to do the same for all of these three different versions and it, it looks the same and it, and it works the same. So you get to choose whichever version you'd like. If you want to work, if you want to learn all of them, you just go for 5.5 first then you know, go in the sequence. In my case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select ESX uh, I 6.5 and I'm going to install the latest version. Um, I've already done this for uh, 5.5 and 6.0, so I already know how they, what they look like, and, and how can I configure them. So the whole point here is, is just to show you how um, how the process works, and then in a separate video, we're going to show you um, the process of configuring ESXi server. You know, this the, the, this particular step only shows you how to use the uh, the, the KVM, the, the keyboard video mouse controller, to uh, start the process of uh, installing ESXi server. So I'm going to select ESX 6.5. I'm going to hit enter. And what's going to happen is it's going to ESXi will go out and it will start pulling all the modules that are that are part of ESXi 6.5. And it's going to it's going to start those it's going, it's going to start pulling those modules from the Pixie server and it will load them into the memory of um, our host. And the whole idea is, is, is once you have all the modules loaded into the memory, then you can start installing the uh, the actual server, right? Because it's like because it's an operating system, like any other operating system. First, you need to re, you know, you need to load all the uh, all the modules that are part of the, the operating system before you can actually install the operating system onto your uh, server. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, it might take a little while to load all of these modules, and sometimes it might look like it's not doing anything. But you know, don't worry. Just be patient. It's just gonna take its own time, and it might take you know sometimes it might take ten minutes, it might take more than that. If it happens to be slow, just uh, leave it alone for about five to ten minutes and come back and just continue doing, just continue uh, with the installation of um, ESXi server. Uh, what we're seeing right now is, is this is sort of a, the uh, the direct console user interface, uh, the the familiar interface that you're going to be um, uh, using from now on to 
um, configure to initially configure your USXI server. And so for that reason, uh, we're just going to wait. And what's going to happen is, is at some point it's going to come up with a message saying, you know, do you, would you like to install USXI server onto that server, onto this host, right? So uh, that's what we're going to do is, is we're going to just wait for all the modules to be loaded. All right, there you go. It says welcome to uh, VMware ESXi 6.5 uh, installation. And it also, it also says that um, ESXi installs on most systems, but only systems on VMware's compatibility guide are supported. So even though you might be able to install ESXi server onto your host, uh, still that, ho that the uh, ESXi server itself might not be supported if it's not on VMware's compatibility guide. And they, of course, they suggest that you go and check VMware's compatibility guide. They give you the link. And so from this point on, um, if I hit enter, it will start with the, uh, um, with the installation. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the process here because we're going to cover the, pers uh, the, uh, the steps to installing a SXI server in a separate video. What I want to show you is, and I'm going to close this remote console here. So if your mouse is stuck, um, it's because the the uh, uh, the uh, virtual console has has basically locked your mouse inside the uh, console. To release the console, to release the mouse, you can just hit Control O, and that release the mouse will release the mouse. If you click inside, the mouse gets um, locked inside the, this black box that you see. If you want to unlock the mouse again, Control Alt, and it will release the mouse. Now I'm going to close this and I just want to show you the same for ESX90. So I, I've started the installation of ESXi server for my first host. I'm going to connect to my second host which is ESX90. In this case I'm just going to double click on um, the icon and I'm going to type in my username esx80admin at oab.viadmin.com and then I will type my password and I'm going to hit enter. And this is the console of my second host. So I can do the same here. Uh, the host is powered off. I can just uh, click start or power on. That's going to start powering on the server. And at this particular uh, moment, uh, as it says down there, I'm going to hit escape and this will invoke the boot menu. I'm going to scroll down to my first network card. I'm going to hit enter and it will go out and it will um, uh, get an IP address from the Pixie server and it will show me the uh, it will show the options that I have when it comes to installing different operating systems. Uh, and I'm going to select again ESXi 6.5. I'm going to hit enter and it will start loading all the modules. So the same, you know, basically when it comes to installing and configuring ESXi server, uh, we would be doing one and the same thing for all of the servers that we have. So we do, we do. We install ESXi server on the first server, on the first host that we have. We configure IP settings and and um, the DNS settings, and then we go and do the same for um, our second host. All right, so that was how we connect to our uh, virtual uh, KVM console and how we power up uh, our server and uh, and how we start the process of installing ESXi server. If for some reason you want to power uh, you want to power down your server you can just go here um, where it says VMRC you go power and you go uh, you select shut down guess and this will shut down the server and as you see it says powering off and now it's powered off and again we can power it on if we wanted to so yeah that's what it is all right I'll see you uh, in the next um, module and I uh, will show you the steps to installing and configuring ESXi server. All right.